But I'd be like, oh, don't say anything, just your little proper shopping holiday, you know? <laughs> I am so excited to be here. I really am. I, I love the state of Utah. I've been here several times. I do. I love the state. And I, you guys even have like clean air out here. It's fabulous. <laughs> I'm a married mom from New Jersey. Exit 8A. We don't have clean air. We don't. We have day old air. Do you know? I mean, just love being out here. Love being out here. Oh my gosh. I'm giving you guys all a reason to just kind of slow down, take a look at me. Because no, I am not Jane Lynch. <laughs> My name really is Helene Angley. I know. I th oh, thank God she said that. I wasn't sure if she knew. I know. I look like a gay woman in my 50s. Yay! <laughs> exactly the image I was shooting for. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I do. I have one of those familiar faces. I, I, and even in the 90s, I look like a famous person. And I have a lot of fun playing uh, that one off. I would be in the New York City shopping, and people would come up to me, and they'd say, Excuse me, are you Lady Diana? <laughs> I, and I would play that all. Do you have any idea who she is? Do you have any idea you have to go home and Google her? Maybe, maybe you have to go home and Google her. You definitely have to go home and Google her. <laughs> but her son just got married. They had a baby. It's kind of a big deal, but I'm just saying. So, <laughs> but I did, I looked like Lady Diana. I would have so much fun. I would pretend to be her. I would, I'd be like, oh, don't say anything. Just your little proper shopping holiday, you know? <laughs> Oh, you know, I could say it was like, you know, boys are great, mother laws are pug. Oh, it's all true, the same old trolls, all true, right? Big ears, small, you know. <laughs> but I'm a gay woman in my 50s. Yay! I need new hairstyle. I do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the weather has been crazy. I've been here like a couple days, and the weather has just been... Not... And I'm back east, and we all watch the weather, right? Is it just me, or do all the weather girls look like they should be swinging from a pole? <laughs> what is happening to the weather girls at 7 a.m., right? Can I just get one weather girl with like a pair of yoga pants, a sweatshirt, and a scrunchie? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're all, thank you. They're all dressed up. It's so much stress at 7 a.m., right? And, and back east, we even have a, we even have the traffic girls. Do you have a traffic girl out here? Oh, the traffic girls. And every morning, there's my husband. He's like, oh my goodness. Look at the traffic in Philly. <laughs> it is all backed up. <laughs> I'm like, babe, I'm going into Philly today. Where's the traffic? She's like, I'm not listening to her. <laughs> she looks great in yellow today. <laughs> I'm like, that's not fair. I don't even know why he watches the traffic girl. He works from home. <laughs> Give me a break, right? Give me a break. Oh my gosh, but it was, it was cold today. It was cold. So, uh, you know, I ran down to your uh, local drugstore here and I got a pair of nylons, you know, cause that's a trick you do, right, sir? You wear nylons underneath your pants to keep warm, right? That's what you do. If Joe Namath can do it, so can you, right? Exactly. Do you know who Joe Namath is? Do you have any idea? Who Joe Namath is. No, you're gonna have to go home and Google him too. <laughs> famous guy, famous guy. And he wore nylons underneath this. And that's what I said. Oh, and my girlfriend has said, you know, it, it does, it keeps you warm. Go get a pair of nylons. Okay, well, this man knows, and maybe a couple other gentlemen know what I'm talking about, right? But to buy a pair of nylons, women run, what? We actually have to do algebra to buy a pair of nylons, don't we? Right? That because there's a little graph, a little chart on the back. It's not small, medium, and large, as you know, sir. Go ahead and Google this. But on the back, it's not SML. It's not, it's a letter, ABC. We actually have to break out our phones and solve for X. Do we not? We do. We do. We do. A little graph, a little chart. If you're this tall and you weigh this much, you have to convert that into a letter, size A, B, or C. Guess what? I'm not on the graph. I'm not on the chart. I'm six feet tall, 150 pounds. I could try to be 5'9 and 135, that last dot of C that's kind of hanging out there. I can try. So I brought him home, brought him back to the hotel. I put, you know, and women, you know, we're putting on nylons. We're going into battle, right? We are. We sit down and we get them on and we're stretching them around our shoulders. Could they come out of the package this big, this big, right? We gotta make them long and we're working working on them, and we gotta get our hand, we gotta turn our rings around. No hangnails, no little bites, no, well, wart. Just stay home, just stay home, forget it, forget it. You gotta have a clean hand going in, right? You know what I'm talking about. Get that hand in, I put on one foot, and I put on the other, I got one thigh going this way, one thigh going that way. 
that's work. My husband's like, you know, that's kind of sexy. I'm like, I'm working here. Hang on. <laughs> and I get him on, and, and you know, size so C right here, crunch is right there. <laughs> I'm over at the Marriott. I'm like, I gotta get over to Dry Bar. <laughs> I'm like an old Jewish man in my house. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I can't, I couldn't move, I couldn't move. My knees were locked, knees were locked. Oh man. But it was cold today, so I went back, and I got queen size. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? Queen size, that's a free-for-all. No graph, no chart, just a free-for-all. You can get whatever size. You know what I'm talking about, sir, right? <laughs> fabulous, they're fabulous. I love queen size. I am wearing them right now. <laughs> Crotch is right where it should be. I'm very happy, very happy. I have one problem, I have one problem. Yeah, here's the waistband. <laughs> Did I just share too much with Provo? Oh my gosh, this guy just threw up. Are you all right? Are you all right? And you're kind of excited. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. It just happens. It just, look at me. I'm wrapped in here like a troop of toothpaste. I'm not going to poop till Tuesday. Hang on. It's kind of holding me all in and up. You know, I'm kind of happy about it. Forget women. Forget Spanx women. Just buy queen size. Just get a pair of queen size. Just do it. Oh my goodness. I didn't know how that was going to go over, but you guys are good. You guys are good. <laughs> Now I'm set, now I'm set. Home run, all right, there we go. Oh man, oh my goodness. Oh, and I can feel age. I, I look a little younger, but I'm, I'm feeling age. is uh, probably older than I look, but uh, I am, I'm getting there. And age to me is a slippery slope. You with me on that? It's a slippery slope. I, and I can feel it, you know, like half of me, I don't know, like I'm just not saying the right things. Like my kids, I, I said, oh, I'm so confused these days. I, I can't even find my way out of a phone booth. And they were like, what's, what's, what's a phone booth, right? What's a phone booth? No idea, no idea. They're like, what's a phone? I'm like, it's an ancient practice where people used to go to have private conversations on the telephone. Imagine that. Not talking about all your problems while you're walking down the egg in the milk aisle. Do you know what I'm saying? But can we just bring it down a notch? Can we? Can we please go back to phone booths? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yes. I'm old fashioned. I am. And I, I even went to my doctor. I was like, doc, you gotta, you know, I'm, I'm hot. I'm wet. Like right now, I'm pretty much feeling like Bruce Jenner's first day as Caitlyn. <laughs> I'm a hot, sweaty mess. You know what I'm saying? It's not pretty. It's not pretty. What's happening to me? It's not. And my doctor was like, take it easy, Aline. We'll figure it out. You know, let's run a few tests. Like, go pee in this cup. You know, we'll run a few tests. I'm like, pee in a cup? I ran across the street and sneezed three times on the way in. Just swing out my stupid underwear at this point. Just cut out the middle step. And, Sir, you really laughed at that. You pee when you run, right? It just happens. It just happens. It's natural. I got you. I got you. Oh, I got you. I got you back. I got you back. Oh my goodness. It is it's crazy. And he was like, well, maybe, you know, maybe you could try to calm down. Maybe you could try yoga. Maybe you could try yoga. Yeah. Any yogis in the room? You be, no, let's make fun of yoga right now. Yes. I have a goat stand on my back. How ridiculous is that? Stop the nonsense. And the yoga instructors, they frustrate me. They really do. I mean, they all talk a lot. But the size of a Q-tip, okay, number one, all right? They're like this big, and they're like, oh my gosh, last night I had the most amazing dinner. I had like this little side of tree bark with a touch of moss. <laughs> I'm like still full, hmm. Like, come on, everybody, let's put our ankle behind our head. And I'm like, not since my honeymoon, babe. Like, bang off. This is a public space. I'm not doing that here. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I can get in the downward dog. I can get in it. I just can't get out of it. I can't. I have been stuck in the downward dog. <laughs> Farting. I'm, be I'm bent over in half. I'm bent over. Yeah, I'm going to fart. I'm going to fart, you know? And they're just like, oh, look at Helene really enjoys her downward dog. That's a great example. I'm like, could you help me up? Could you? Could I namas my day weight out of here? Could I just stop? I can't. Oh, man. I'm a mom. Give it up for moms in the room. Nice. Give it up for dads in the room. Give it up for dads. All right. Takes a 
a village to raise these kids. It does. It takes a village. Good for you. Good for you. Um, I, anyone with young kids? Anyone with young kids? Oh, you do? You have young kids? That's great. So I have a little trick. My kids are a little older, so I want to give you a little piece of advice that would work. Because, you know, sometimes you just want a few minutes by yourselves, right? Where are they right now, actually? <laughs> with his mom. All right. Do you really care? <laughs> You have a night out, right? You have a night out, right? And that's the thing. You, you just want some time by yourself. You do. And so this is what I would do. I would go sit myself on my stairs. I would give myself a time out. <laughs> Grandparents, take this advice. I would just give myself a time out. I'd sit on my stairs. They come find you. They always do. They're never far behind. And they go, Mom, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm on a time out. And they go, well, what does that mean? And I go, that means I can't talk to you for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> do not engage. Do not engage. They scatter. They do. They scatter. It's fabulous. People Magazine, take a nap on the stairs. Who cares? Just take your break. Oh, my goodness. But now my kids are older, so my, ki uh, my son... Um, just turned 23, just graduated from the University of Delaware. So, yay! I know, thank you. He's a blue hen. He's a blue hen, and um, now he's a waiter, and he lives at home. It's so great. <laughs> I'm so proud. It's so great. $200,000, and he's a waiter at home. How great is that? <laughs> yay, biology! Yay! Yay! He made $100 today. So happy. So happy. So proud. So proud. <laughs> it's a challenge. It's a challenge, right? You know? And I don't even know if, like, colleges teach kids real-life experiences these days. I think they're missing gap a little bit. You know, so here's an, his student loans are coming in, right? And uh, so we wanted to go to the bank to, uh, it, well, with his student loans, and they wanted to charge him $5 to pay the bill online. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Let's go down to the bank and uh, open a checking account. What? <laughs> we'll go down to the bank and we'll open a checking account. How do you go in the bank? You go in the bank. <laughs> Where are the doors? Behind the ATM. No, there's not. Yes, there are. <laughs> there are doors and you go in the bank. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> What's back there? People. <laughs> What do they do? They give you a checking account. We, we walked through the doors. It was like Dorothy. What? You had no idea. No idea. Came home. He had to write his first bill. Write his first bill. Ninety dollars. N i n d y. <laughs> oh, intelligent crowd. Intelligent crowd. Some some crowds don't get that. Some two hundred thousand dollars. There's no D in ninety. There's no D. There's no spell check for checks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm dealing with millennials. <laughs> so, but he figured it out and he, we, we talked through it. We talked through it. We, we, we did. And uh, so he came back and he, he had the check all written out and he was like, I got it, mom. I got it. Could I get a stamp and an envelope? And I was like, yeah, I'll give you a stamp, but you use the envelope it came with. He goes, no, I can't use that. It has a hole in it. $200,000. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> we go out to dinner these nights, you know, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'll have the surf and turf. I'm like, yeah, I'll have that steak medium rare. And I'm like, what happened to chicken nuggets and a plastic cup of milk? <laughs> like, I so cannot afford them anymore. It just, it just keeps, it just keeps happening. Yeah, and, I, and I have a daughter. She's 21. Ooh. Yeah, anyone else with that kind of joy, pain, and agony in their life? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's just a weird time. Her hormones are checking in. Mine are completely checking out. You know, just a weird time in our lives. And uh, she's up in Canada for college, you know, because they don't take SAT scores. <laughs> oh, come on, you all have one. You all have one that you know. It's just not quite the brightest bulb in the box. And if you're not laughing, you are that bulb. You know what I'm saying. You know. You know. <laughs> Canada. Yeah, all right. That works. That works. You know. You know right now. You know right now. Because <laughs> she said stupid stuff all the time. All the time. Here's an example. Here's an example. We're going down to Maryland for a little uh, summer weekend. Just the two of us to meet friends uh, are all down there. And she's sitting next to me in the car. Next to me. And she goes, hey, mom, can you see me in your rearview mirror? <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you, sir. You got that right away. I, did. I was like, no, I cannot see you or high school graduation. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? And there she is a, a few years later. She's in her teens, okay? We're walking towards Target because I needed underwear. They sell them in six packs and eight packs at this point. That's how we rock and roll at this age. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. So we're walking towards Target. She finally looks up from her phone and she goes, hey mom, what does the symbol for Target mean? <laughs> Again, intelligent crowd, intelligent crowd. What does the symbol for Target mean? I just looked at her and go, it means community college, honey. <laughs> she went, does it really? I was like, yes! I'm so saving on this one. I am. It's great. She really does. She hates that joke. She does. She gets so annoyed. She's, I mean, it's just a circle within a circle. So it makes it a Target! <laughs> It's a lot, it's a lot to keep up with millennials. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> oh man, and she gets me sometimes. She, uh, so uh, she was up in Can Canada, that's where she is, and it was the first day of spring, so I sent her a, a little text, and I was like, hey, sweetie, first day of spring, hope things are warming up for you up there in Canada. Love you, Mom, and I put like a little Easter bonnet, little Easter bonnet emoji, you know, and sent it off. Ding, and two seconds later, I get back. Thanks, Mom, uh, why'd you send me an emoji of a taco? <laughs> I didn't. It's an Easter bonnet. And she was like, uh, put your glasses on, it's taco. And she was right. <laughs> so close. So close. I'm fighting with millennials, isn't it? It's tough, it's tough, millennials. Oh my goodness. Are my, my husband and I, are we the only ones that is actually texting our kids from the kitchen when they're upstairs? Oh, oh no, right? We're not, I'm not the only one, right? No. Every night my husband's like, tell the kids dinner's ready. And I'm like, I do not want to talk to them. <laughs> by texting them from the kitchen. They're upstairs. And I go, hey, dinner's ready. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Something you'll hate to just come down. And they don't move, they don't move. So I call her, I call my daughter. She's upstairs, I call her on the phone. And I was like, and she does this, huh? <laughs> Why do millennials talk like that? Why must they talk like that, huh? <laughs> What do you want? What do you want? I want you to get a job interview. That's what I want. I want you to talk. I want you to enunciate. That's what I want. I want you to actually pronounce a word. Use the muscles in your mouth and say something like hello, not ha. Huh. Huh. But we have to be nice to millennials. We do, right? We have to, they're gonna rule the world. And I hope they develop an app where somebody changes my diaper every hour on the hour. That's <laughs> Because they're going to wheel me in a hallway in a chair somewhere. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. i got to be nice. got to be nice. Oh, my goodness. I've been married 30 years this year. 30 years. Thank you. It's all good. I do. Appreciate it. People got me, uh, got me beat in the room. Anybody got me beat? What do you got? 38. 40. I have 38. I have 40. Do I have above 40? Do I have above 40? Okay. But what do you got back there? 43, 43, wow, very nice, applause, right? That's nice. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful, enduring qualities that make that work. I do, I love my husband. He helps me travel, do a comedy across this country. He's great support, good cook, all that. And he comes down those stairs on a Saturday morning and I look at him and I go, oh my goodness, must you breathe? <laughs> What are you wearing? What are you wearing, right? He's like, look at this T-shirt I found in the back of my closet. I can't believe it. I've been looking for this thing for years. I can't believe I found it. I'm like, I know, that's where I put it. I stuffed it way back there. He can find that, but he can't find the clean laundry basket at the bottom of the stairs. Can't seem to find that. Walks right by it every Saturday. I didn't know. They needed to come up. Yeah, because that's how we roll as a family. We get dressed in front of the front door at the bottom of the stairs. Just leave the clean laundry there forever. Just leave it there forever. Never bring that basket up. Never. Don't, don't think about it. Don't. That's how we roll, you know? What am I going to wear to work on Monday? I don't know. Let me go check the basket at the bottom of the stairs. 
<laughs> if you bring it up, we will be nice to you. I promise we will. Oh my goodness. And yes, I heard you fart. And no, I don't want to smell it. Don't want to play the Sunday morning game. Always that. It's so tough. It's tough, but it's it's good. To, it's a good thing, marriage. It's a good thing. This year for our anniversary, we decided to get that uh, big, uh, get a communal gift to each other. We got that big Tempur-Pedic bed. Anyone know that? $9,000 sponge. It's a fabulous bed. It is fabulous. It's very deep sponge. You just relax and sleep in and, and uh, you know, you sink in because it's a sponge. And, and we're very tall people, so we got that California king. It's so great because he is like way over there. <laughs> he is. He's so far away from me. It's fabulous. And to get to me, he's like got to roll over, dig out, roll over, dig out, roll over, <laughs> dig out. He's exhausted by the time he gets to me. Oh my goodness. It's fabulous. I put that big body pillow between us. He cannot reach me at all. <laughs> And you're probably like, I don't understand why she, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Why doesn't she want him to touch her? No, it's 30 years of love, 30 years, 30 years of love. <laughs> but one night he like leaped over. He was like there. And I was like, what? He's like, hey, I had coffee. Yeah. Like, oh, he's awake. You know? And he was like, hey, and I'm like, hey. And he's like, hey, and I'm like, eight loads of laundry downstairs, hey! <laughs> he's getting all frisky, you know, he's getting all fun. And he's like, hey, and he snapped my panties. It was like, whoa, what's going on? Are you looking for the remote? <laughs> so it's back on your side. <laughs> Hurry up, because I think the traffic girl's coming on. <laughs> you guys have been a fabulous crowd. Thank you so much. Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the lady they sent them to the bank should be going, Mom.